Okay, so uh, we have this right here, but we need to put it inside of a class. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this down in case uh, in case we run into problems, we'll have that to refer back to. But uh, so I'm going to keep the Perlin noise, and I'm just going going to do class flow field. have a def init. Start off with self and then we're going to put in a size and resolution because those were the two uh, main variables that we had when we created uh, the flow field over here. So we need to make those um, parameters, we need to bind them within the class so we're going to do self.size equals size self.resolution equals resolution and then from that we can uh, do our points per side and if we look down here we have this and I'm going to copy that and delete it delete that and um, we don't need to do self.size divided by self.resolution because these values we can just use these values within this init function um, so then we want to I want to create a grid and the grid is really is just going to be uh, the list that we created down here um, but I want to create a different different function just so it's a little bit separate and so we don't have to put all of this within our uh, init function or init method. Okay, so we're going to do self dot create grid. So let's write that def. Uh, create grid and pass in self and we're just going to use this right here Sorry, this is kind of boring to watch and do. And this needs to be right, is it that line? Yeah, we need to, uh, instead of A equals L, we need to return L. And then there's another thing that I want to mention is that when we append this, we're actually putting this inside of a list and putting it at this place. So instead of append, we need to have uh, equals. So uh, this just makes it better and better when a little further down the line. Oh, I think we need to put this right there. Okay, so let's uh, go through and Add the self, self dot points per, per line, self dot points per line, or points per side, sorry, self dot points per side. Uh, oh, we need to add in scale up here as well. I'm going to put scale perlin and then self dot scale p.
line length. That was a global variable. And so I think we use just resolution for that. So let's just put in resolution again. Self dot resolution, self dot resolution, self dot resolution. Perlin Val. Okay, there's probably I might be missing something somewhere, but let's uh, let's assume that I have them all right. And so we need to FF for flow field and flow field and the values that we pass in size, resolution, and scale perlin. So we have size, resolution, and scale perlin. And these actually come from uh, the component. And then we have uh, an L, return L when we create a grid. And we have grid right here. So we can say ff.grid A equals ff, the grid of our flow field. Uh, list is not callable. Item 43. Okay, so let's uh, turn enabled off right there. Plug this in there. Okay, so we have it uh, within class. Uh, this was uh, not the most exciting video, but uh, it gets us where we need to be.